do the don't go chasing waterfalls dance right now because I just saw Chili on um, Guy Fieri and Rachel Ray's uh, reality show Chili. She made um, Chilapia tostadas. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I like Chili, so I'm doing waterfalls dance. everybody and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to kick off this first episode of the new year with something simple, something pure, something healthy, and something soulful. I'm going to show you guys how to make a proper miso soup. And if you stick around to the end of the episode, I'm going to show you my favorite way of having miso soup. It's a little twist on a Japanese classic. Okay guys, the secret to an authentic tasty miso soup is dashi. Dashi is a Japanese broth that is used not only in miso soup, but in many other dishes as well. It's a staple, if you will. Dashi has three ingredients, super simple. Ingredient number one, <clears throat> excuse me, is water. Kombu. This is a Japanese seaweed that you can find in many Asian grocery stores or Japanese grocery stores. Um, you can also find it, get this, in your local natural organic health food store because seaweed is a superfood. Ingredient number three is bonito flakes. This is a shaved, dried uh, bonito fish. Smells very deep and toasty and a little bit fishy. Okay, the first step is to soak the kombu for 30 minutes. I've got four cups of water in this saucepan and I have two sticks of kombu. In the water it goes half an hour. Okay, the kombu is finished soaking. It's been 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna put the saucepan right on the stove and turn on a medium heat. And what we're looking for is little tiny bubbles around the edges. So we're bringing it to a low simmer. for the soup to give it a little texture and some interest. I have a button mushroom that I'm going to slice up, some fresh green onions, and some tofu that I'm going to cube into little cubes. You can put up any vegetable you want. The secret is to keep it spare, okay? We're not making no minestrone up in here, okay? We don't scoop up like a big chunk and like just like overflowing the vegetables. This is not that kind of soup, okay? We want miso soup and vegetables. Mushroom. <music> turn it down to its lowest setting and now it's time to add the bonito flakes. Woo! Okay now it's time to strain. I have another sauce pot here with a fine mesh strainer on top. If your strainer is not that fine you can put a coffee filter or a piece of cheesecloth here to make sure you uh, catch all the bonito flakes. Mm. And the broth is this nice pale yellow color Super light. It smells like the sea. All right, now that the broth is made, I'm gonna put in my mushrooms and tofu. is that there is light miso and there is dark miso or red miso as they like to call it. 
Um, mine is red, the dark kind. The darker it is, the saltier and deeper it is. The lighter it is, the sweeter it is. So, there are miso soups made with all deepness of colors. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, but I prefer the dark and that's why I'm using it. Now it's time to add the miso. So make sure it's hot, but not boiling. I don't know why you're not supposed to boil miso. It's just what I've been told, what everyone says. So, hey, I am not going to argue with the expertise. Uh, I guess that's it. This is it. Whoa, that was quick. Okay, so here it is. I like to garnish it with a little bit of green onions. And you need to get a shot of that if you want to, or put it in a bowl or something. This little Debbie Wong twist on the classic is inspired by ochatsuke, which is a Japanese homestyle dish, which consists of green tea poured over leftover rice and, eat, and eaten like a rice porridge, kind of reminiscent of kanji. So instead of green tea, I'm gonna use my miso soup. I got some cooked rice at the bottom of the bowl, make sure it's hot. A lovely homemade miso soup. Just pour in enough to cover the rice. And top it with a sunny side of bake. Finally, green onions. A little sprinkle of Japanese seven spice. Kind of like a chili powder blend. And some toasted sesame seeds. Taste test. With my hair on mess, I love to eat this dish with a pair of chopsticks and a Chinese soup spoon. First thing I like to do is break that yolk. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, that's so yummy. <clears throat> this dashi stock is out of control. Totally worth making it at yourself. Totally worth making it yourself at home. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> one more time, one more bite. Happy 2014. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till the next time.